today. I'm not going to be able to help you to do anything that you do better. Like I'm not going to be able to give you a gift that you don't have. But what I will be able to do is help you today operate in a way you've never operated before. Right? I will, I will help you to operate in a way you've never operated before. I'm, I'm going to help you to do some things that you've never done in your life before. And as a result, you're going to be able to go to a whole new level. So this, we have to start here. We have to start here. Just, just write down those, 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 those things, one or two or three things that, that you have to desperately get done before this year ends. It's, it's, it's desperation. You, it's, I don't have a choice. I don't have an option. You got to get that done. Got it. Like, I just want you, we're not, we're, and I'm not talking about stuff that's kind of important. I'm talking about the stuff that, that has got it. The ball's dropping and you can't keep talking about it. Like, you will not be able to rest you didn't get this done. I want you to write that down. I want you to write that. That's where we're starting. I want you to write that down. E.T., like, I got to get this done, E. Like, E, it's no, this is no option. This is not like a vacation. This is not, you know, just making a couple more dollars for the sake of buying a car, a house. Like, E, this is some life and death stuff, E. Like, this is some change, the trajectory of my life stuff, E. This is like, this is like, it's going to put me in a place like where I'm just gonna be able to get to that that place that I've been trying to get to. I want you to write that down. And it was, look guys, I'm being honest. It was like random. It was like just totally random. It, it was out of nowhere. It was a, a, the Christmas holiday. And Carl, our videographer, had his family over and we live around, at that time we lived around the corner from each other. Now we live on the same block. Random, right? Christmas was over. We're just going to the house, just eating dinner. It, it, it just was a random, a random night. And somehow we got to talking and Carl's wife is from Barbados and she didn't have citizenship. It is the first responsibility of every citizen to question authority. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. Acta non verba, deeds not words, Latin proverb. Choose a job you love, and you will never have to work a day in your life. Love people, not things. Use things, not people. What you think you are is not what you are. Alan Watts on providence when you make any charge against providence consider and you will learn that the thing has happened according to reason yes but the unjust man has the advantage in what in money yes for he is superior to you in this that he flatters is free from shame and is watchful what is the wonder but see if he has the advantage over you in being faithful, in being modest, for you will not find it to be so. But wherein you are superior, there you will find that you have the advantage. And I once said to a man who was vexed because Philostorgus was fortunate, would you choose to lie with Sura? May it never happen, he replied, that this day should come. Why then are you vexed if he receives something in return for that which he sells? Or how can you consider him happy who acquires those things by such means as you abominate? Or what wrong does providence if he gives the better things to the better men? Is it not better to be modest than to be rich? He admitted this. Why are you vexed then, man, when you possess the better thing? Remember then always and have in readiness the truth that this is a law of nature, that the superior has an advantage over the inferior in that in which he is superior, and you will never be vexed. But my wife treats me badly. Well, if any man asks you what this is, say, my wife treats me badly. Is there then nothing more? Nothing. My father gives me nothing. But to say that this is an evil is something which must be added to it externally, and falsely added. 
For this reason we must not get rid of poverty, but of the opinion about poverty, and then we shall be happy. All disciplines affect each other. Every lack affects the rest. Every new affects the rest. The key is to diminish the lack and set up the new. And you've started a whole new life process. Also, one more thought on discipline. Here's the greatest value of discipline. Self-worth. Self-esteem. People are teaching self-esteem these days, but they don't connect it to discipline. The least lack of discipline. And it starts to erode our psyche. One of the greatest temptations is to just ease up a little bit. The slightest lack of doing your best starts to erode the psyche. Instead of doing your best, doing just a little less than your best. Sure enough. You say, well, it's just going to affect my sales. No, it's going to affect your consciousness. It's going to affect your philosophy. Now you've begun in the slightest way to affect your own philosophy. I got better day by day and week by week and month by month. And I'm asking you to do the same thing until you can develop a long arm and a long reach. Until you can develop influence that won't quit. Touch people next year you couldn't touch this year. Touch people now you couldn't touch before. Conduct a meeting now you couldn't conduct before. Heart and soul now mixed in there that wasn't there, missing before. I'm asking all of you to get better in spite of the winters, in spite of the downturns. The money downturn, the social downturn, the personal downturn, whatever it is. Blessed are those who do not fear solitude, who are not afraid of their own company, who are not always desperately looking for something to do, something to amuse themselves with, something to judge. Strong people are always simple. One who is unaffected by the pain and pleasure that arise from contact with the senses, and who is steady in both, is said to be one who has attained self-realization. Bhagavad Gita You've got to do what's right for you, even if it hurts some people you love. Never attribute to malice that which can be adequately explained by stupidity. Leadership is not about being in charge. It is about taking care of those in your charge. Jocko Willink Setting therefore before thine eyes this happiness and felicity of thy mind, whereby it is able to pass through all things and is capable of all motions, whether as the fire upwards or as the stone downwards or as the cylindrus through that which is sloping. Content thyself with it and seek not after any other thing. For all other kind of hindrances that are not hindrances of thy mind, either they are proper to the body or merely proceed from the opinion, reason not making that resistance that it should but basely and cowardly suffering itself to be foiled, and of themselves can neither wound nor do any hurt at all. Else must he of necessity, whosoever he be that meets with any of them, become worse than he was before, for so is it in all other subjects, that that is thought hurtful unto them, whereby they are made worse. But here contrariwise man, if he make that good use of them that he should, is rather the better and the more praiseworthy for any of those kind of hindrances than otherwise. But generally remember that nothing can hurt a natural citizen that is not hurtful unto the city itself, nor anything hurt the city that is not hurtful unto the law itself. But none of these casualties or external hindrances do hurt the law itself, or are contrary to that course of justice and equity by which public societies are maintained. Neither therefore do they hurt either city or citizen. Work on the jobs that's available. You know why? Because they don't want to do those jobs. They want and are looking for something that's them. That's what's happening with the majority of people. They're reflecting on their lives and they're asking themselves, does this work for me? Is this me? And if the answer is no, then do you. Don't die an unlived life. 
take a chance on you.